Hi, this is Venkat Narayana from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss sum of digits of a given number using recursion in Python. This is continuation to previous video, part 15. Sum of digits of a given number in Python. Please go through previous video before going through this video. Here, if we provide input as 1, 2, 3, we need to add sum of digits like 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6. If you want to add like individual digits, then first we need to get individual digits from this input number. Here we are using modulus and division operators to calculate sum of digits. For example, if we provide input as 1 to 3, then 1 to 3 divided by 10 will get 3 as remainder and 2 as quotient. We will take this quotient and divide by 10. Here 12 divided by 10 remainder is 2 and quotient is 1. We will take this quotient and divide by 10. Here 1 divided by 10, remainder is 1 and quotient is 0. Here we are getting 3, 2, 1 from input number 1 to 3. We will sum these all remainders, we will get output. We will discuss this logic over Visual Studio. Launch Visual Studio and create Python application. First step is read input from command prompt input of please provide input number and assign to integer variable input number here input method means string but we are trying to store into integer variable so we need to convert string to integer using int method int We need to invoke sum of this function print sum of comma input number comma is comma sum of digits of and pass input number input number here we are invoking sum of digits function but we didn't declare sum of digits so we need to define sum of digits function now def sum of digits of input number if input number equal to 0 Return zero else return input number modulus ten plus sum of digits of input number divide by ten. Execute this code. Control F5. Please provide input number 1, 2, 3. That means 1, 2, 3. We are getting output as sum of 1, 2, 3 is 6.6666 and so on. Here we are getting float number, but we need to get integer value. We need to convert float to integer. Here, int of input number divided by 10. Execute this code. Control F5. 1, 2, 3, enter, sum of 1, 2, 3 is 6. Here in this function, what we are doing here is, first input number modulus 10, that means we will get remainder. Later we are invoking sum of digits of input number by 10. We are invoking sum of digits function recursivity. So, sum of this function is recursive function. Here we will get quotient. We will debug this program, put breakpoint here, go to debug, click on start debugging or F5, later click step 2 or F11, click on start debugging, F11, please provide input number 123, enter, here input number 123 and invoking sum of digits with input number, here input number 123. 123 equal to 0. False, it goes to s spot. 
here input number modulus 10 you see this value select this part right click here quick watch 123 modulus 10 will get 3 as remainder plus sum of digits of int of input number by 10 if you select this part right click quick watch 123 divided by 10 we are getting 12.3 as a quotient we need to convert float to integer using int method here we are converting float to int f11 letter input number 12 12 equal to 0 false it was else spot and calculating the values letter input number 1 1 equal to 0 false it was else spot and execute this code f11 here input number 0 0 equal to 0 true here we are adding all the sum of remainders and we are getting output as sum of 1 to 3 is 6 in this statement we are calling sum of digits function from sum of digits function so this function is recursive function that's it for today if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel for future videos thank you for watching have a nice day